Okay, I'm Andrea Lepsio, and I won in drama. It's sort of about how I managed to uh, create myself out of a fair amount of chaos with uh, the love of my sister. The piece is almost entirely a memoir. So it is just my life and my circumstances. But I ended up telling three fictional stories inside of it. You know, kind of the driving question is, can I be treated as human finally in my life, rather than just in all circumstances being treated as female? And early on, I, I was sharing it with a writer's group, right? And it was, it was a male dominated writer's group. And um, I had shared that, I had shared the first section where I really say, so I'm demanding to be treated human. Like I'd shared that part of the script. Like one of the men, one of the older men was like, it just really doesn't feel like this piece has a conflict he said, right? And so, and actually I ended up adding in the script, I was like, if you have not been female, you may not recognize this as a conflict. Long ago, I was, I was an actor before I became a playwright, but once I became a playwright, I, I just love being in a room with actors and directors. So I wrote multi-character work most of my career. And really this kind, this was basically a COVID project, right? So I was, I was working on this, I was working on this huge multi-character play and when when COVID hit and so after a couple of months I thought who is ever going to produce a play ever like like when is it ever going to be okay to be in the theater and produce a play you know so it just sort of made me sort of stop that big project and then I just started noodling around with this thing and then once I started doing it I thought I thought oh I think I'm writing this for me. In a multi-character piece, I'm I'm just listening to the characters and I'm just writing what they're saying. So I'm really following them. I mean, I guess there's sort of a freedom in just writing for yourself because it just can be your voice and um, you know you're not trying to solve or figure out how a uh, you know how a Moroccan man speaks English you know what I mean, which I've done, <laughs> you know, or, or, you know, I, you know, how a very different person speaks, you're not, yeah, you're not trying to figure that out. So it's almost like relaxing and freeing to just sort of be writing in my voice. I've been writing for a good 20 plus years. Um, I just trust myself to write. So I just write. I believe a lot in structuring plays but I feel like at this point, the structure is kind of naturally in my bones. So I, anything I write has five movements to it typically, so that I can ensure that the action is rising in a particular way. Um, but I think by now that is so in my bones, it happens. I had wackadoodle parents. I only wanted to be an actor. And they told me that I couldn't be an actor, right? And so at first, I didn't know what to do. So I kind of went in a different direction for a while. My stepfather ended up dying when I was finishing college. And then that really, uh, I then spent literally 10 years trying to make a dead man happy. Um, so I like, kind of went into the business world and had a serious job and was really serious. And then after about 10 years, um, I started to think about it and started to re recognize that he was no longer living and that I was living and that maybe I could do something I wanted to do. And my friend said, there's this acting studio right down the street from where you live. So I started to act again. And, um, and of course, and I was only like in my early thirties. And of course I felt like I was old. Then I got involved with a theater group and they were, they were offering a playwriting class. And I thought, Oh, that sounds like fun. So I took this playwriting class and all I can say is it was like meeting myself. You know, I, I am hoping for future life. I think it would be super cool to get to perform it um, and, you know, kind of have that added into my life. So when I was writing Human, I was just feeling like, wouldn't it be cool if 
my local library wanted me to come and do this for a group, you know, wouldn't it be cool if I could tour around the state of Maine and perform this in different community centers and, you know, kind of like, so it's more like, wouldn't it be cool if I got to do something with this? I really was so encouraged and honored to win this award because uh, it's a weird piece and it was so fantastic that it got picked. I mean, for me, it was so gratifying that it got picked because it's weird. <laughs>